All right, so let's we proceed next slide. All right, so we fi we finish basically the concept of uh, method objection. Okay, so now uh, we will do one example. Okay, how to draw the shear force and also bending moment diagram for simple uh, for simply supported beam. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, sorry. So let me get my pen. All right. So let's do this example. Uh, example 1.1. Draw the shearing force and also bend the moment diagram for simply supported beam below. Okay, remember simply supported beam means the beam that supported at both ends. Okay, A and B. For this case, it's A and B. And then uh, there is no distributed load, only concentrated load. Okay. So let me go to the next. Okay, let me draw uh, the, the, the beam. Okay, so you have uh, simply supported beam subjected to load P. And then the P is equal to 5 kN. And then the distance here is 1.5 meter. And the other one is 1.5 meter. So that is the point A, that is the point B. Okay. So in order, so the question is the question asking to, to draw the shear force shear force diagram and also uh, draw bending moment diagram. Alright. So there are four steps. Okay, there are four steps. We already explained. The first one is uh, draw free body diagram. Okay, the overall free body diagram. And then if you have the distributed load, convert distributed load into uh, concentrated load. For but for our case, there is no concentrated load, so you no need to no need to convert uh, from uh, distributed to concentrated. Okay, so we go to the first step. Okay, the first step. Step one, uh, draw the free body diagram, which is you have uh, F A here, reaction force at point A, and then reaction force at point B, and then you have a P, which is equal to five kilonewton, and then uh, the distance is one point five and also one point five. Okay, so we finish step one. And then step two, okay here. So step, step two. What is the step two? Determine reaction force. Okay. So for this case, reaction force is F A and F B. Okay. So how to determine F A and F B? Okay, so simple. You apply the summation of moment at point A. Okay, let's say uh, counterclockwise is positive, and then the summation of moment must be equal to zero for static equilibrium. So we take moment at point A. So what we have is F B time distance from F B go to A. Okay, B go to A. So the distance is three. Three. And then P time the distance, which is 1.5. Okay, so this is following our... So FB go to A is following the our direction. Okay, so positive. So P go to A. Okay, so the direction is opposite to our assumption. So minus. Okay, minus. 5 times 1.5. Okay, the distance is 1.5. From P to A, 1.5. Okay, so must be equal to 0. So, FB is equal to 5 times 1.5 over, uh, over 3. Okay, so we can cancel out here. 0 0.5, this is 1. So, we get 2.5 kilonewton. Okay, so that is the FB. 
So we get positive means our assumption is correct. So FB is directed upward. And then we can apply the summation of FY is positive, upward is positive. And then the summation must be equal to zero. So from here, FB is positive because the direction is uh, same as our assumption. So FB plus and then also FA, the assumption is go upward. So same with our assumption. So FA is equal to uh, P. Okay, is equal to or you can put minus uh, P equal to zero. Okay. So therefore, FA is equal to P minus FB, which is equal to uh, 5 minus 2.5, equal to uh, 2.5 kilonewton. Okay, same thing, upward. Okay, so from our static analysis, we determine that FA is equal to FB, which is equal to 2.5 kilonewton. Alright, so there is the step number two. Okay, so step number one, draw the free body diagram. Done. Step number two, determine the reaction force, which is FA and also FB. So done. So now, uh, step number three. Step number three. Okay, so what is the step number three? Do sectioning. Okay, do sectioning. Okay, let's go back to our procedure. Okay, so step number three. Analyze each section. And then determine the mathematical function between shear force and X and also bending moment and X. Okay, so step number three is do sectioning and then determine the relationship between F and uh, sorry V and X and then the relationship between M and X. Okay. Do sectioning and then determine the relationship between F X and also M X. Okay. Now, now we have the beam. Okay. I redraw. Here is two point five kilonewton. Then F C also two point five kilonewton. And then we have the load 5 kilonewton, which is the distance here is 1.5 and 1.5. Okay. So this is point A, this is point B, and this is uh, point C. Okay, now we have a two section here. Section AC and also section BC. Okay, so you have we have section uh, AC and also section cb so we have to do uh, sectioning sectioning for this portion okay for this section or this portion all right so we start with uh, section uh, ac okay we start with section ac so section ac so we do sectioning at ac okay we do sectioning at c and then for this case i take I will analyze the left part, okay, the left part of the beam, which is here. So I draw the free body diagram for section AC. So what I, whatever I have in the left part of the beam, I will draw. Okay. So for example, I have force 2.5 here. So I must put 2.5 here. Okay. And then remember, when you do the sectioning, you will have the internal shear force which is f and then internal shear force m okay and then remember if we, uh, we choose here is the reference line so that will be the s s okay s the distance s okay so because v is acting at at point s and also m also acting at point s so i put v s m s Alright, so now we are going to, okay, alright, so for this free body diagram, it is valid for, okay, so the, the equation that we are going to develop is valid 
for the x in between 0 and 1.5. Because portion AC, portion AC is from 0 at 0 to the x equal to 1.5. So, point C, yeah? point C, AC means at 0 up to x 1.5. So, the equation that we are going to develop is valid from 0 to 1.5. Okay, 0 to 1.5. Alright, now we apply the summation of Fy, okay, Let's say upward is positive equal to zero. Okay, so from this free body diagram, uh, 2.5 minus Vx is equal to zero. So Vx is equal to 2.5 kilonewton. Okay, so that's so it means that the shear force is constant. Okay, shear force is constant. It's not affected by the x. Okay. Okay, now. We apply from the, the same free body diagram. So we apply the summation of moment. Okay, let's say uh, clockwise is positive, must be equal to zero. So summation of moment at point x, eh? at point x, on here. So we have 2.5 times x. Okay, so 2.5 we create a moment times x. Eh? Okay, so that's the distance x. Okay, we are we are we are taking the moment at point x, eh? point x here. So 2.5 times x. Okay, 2.5 times x. And then we also have couple moment here or internal moment mx. So minus because of the direction. Okay, the direction is opposite to our assumption. So mx equal to zero. So for this case, the mx is equal to 2.5x. So that is the relation between M and also X. Okay, so the value of M is affected by X. But for uh, bending us uh, for the shear force, the value of shear force is not affected by X. Okay, there is no uh, parameter X, variable X in this equation. Okay, so that is the for section AC. Now we proceed for section. Now for section uh, C B, okay C B. So we have to do the sectioning of section C B. Okay, so same thing here. I will take the left part. Okay, so I don't want to mess up uh, one section uh, analyze from the left, one section analyze from the right. So it will mess mess up everything. So uh, I will take I will do the sectioning at point C B, but uh, but uh, I will analyze. Okay, the same. I will analyze from the left uh, part. Okay, I will analyze the left part of the bit. So when I do the sectioning at portion C B, so I can draw the free body diagram of the C B. Okay, so I draw. Uh, so I draw or I put whatever force uh, at the left side. Okay, so for example, here because I analyze the left, the left part, okay, of the beam, so I will have I will have a 2.5 kilonewton here, this one, and also remember 5 uh, kilonewton here, okay, because we analyze here, we do the section here, so we should include the uh, 5 kilonewton here, and then. Because we do the sectioning, you will have the internal shear force, Vx and also uh, Mx, internal bending moment. Alright, so remember here will be 1.5. Okay, where is the X? X is measured from the uh, reference line. So from here to here, that will be the X. Okay, that will be the X. Okay, let me... Okay, now we are going to analyze uh, how to copy. Uh, sorry, I, I, I redraw uh, the portion CB. So, section uh, CB. Okay, so you have 2.5, you have 5 kilonewton, and then you have Vx and also Mx. So, here will be 1.5. And here will be the X. Okay. Okay. 
now we are going to uh, develop the relationship between uh, v and x and also m and x okay so what we have to do is, is we do the summation of f y let's say upward is positive must be equal to zero so from this from this free body diagram uh, 2.5 is positive and then minus uh, 2 point uh, sorry minus 5.0 eh? minus 5.0 uh, delete okay minus 5.0 which is here and then this is also uh, downward so minus vx equal to 0 so vx is equal to uh, Uh, sorry okay so 2.5 betul tak ni uh, minus positive 2.5 positive minus 5 minus vx equal to 0 so vx is equal to uh, 2.5 minus 5.0 okay so vx is equal to minus 2.5 kilonewton okay so same thing the vx is not affected by x okay and then uh, we do the summation of uh, moment at point x okay let's say uh, let's say in this direction is positive okay and then the total summation of moment equal to zero so we take a moment at point x here at, at location x okay at point x so 2.5 times x okay 2.5 go to the x so the distance is x so 2.5 times x and then 5 kN go to x okay 5 go to x so minus eh? minus because the direction is here okay so opposite to our assumption so 5 time a uh, distance what is the distance from here to here okay the distance is x minus 1.5 okay so from here to here is okay from here from here to here is uh, x minus 1.5 Okay, x minus 1.5. So, x minus 1.5. And then, minus mx. Okay, remember we have mx here. Okay, so must be equal to 0. So, uh, so I expand this equation. 2.5 uh, x minus 5x plus uh, 5 times 1.5 is 7.5 minus mx equal to 0 so mx is equal to uh, minus 2.5 x plus 7.5 okay so that is the relationship uh, between m and also s okay remember for section for section cb position CB so the X is only valid from 1.5 to 3.0 okay because if you see uh, the diagram so CB CB is the X so so means that the X is 1.5 to 3 okay so X is measured from here so point C is X equal to 1.5 Point B is X equal to 3. Okay, X equal to 3. So, that's why So, that's why the X is only valid for X from, um, in between 1.5 and 3. Okay, this equation, these two equation is only valid for uh, in between 1.5 and 3. Okay. Okay, so...
uh, I want to add one more uh, slide. Okay, let me add one slide here. Okay, now we can draw the free body diagram uh, of the beam. Okay, free body diagram of the beam. Okay, uh, so let me draw again the beam. Okay, so that is the beam point A, point B, and also the load point C, 5 kN. And then we can draw the shear force, which is V versus X, and also bending moment diagram, uh, the V versus X. Okay. So remember, uh, for portion or section uh, AC, so the V X is equal to 0.5. Mx is equal to, okay, for portion uh, AC, Mx equal to 2.5x, okay, 2.5x. And then for section uh, CB, Vx equal to minus 2.5, and Mx is equal to minus 2.5x plus 7.5, so which is here. And then for portion uh, AC, the X is only valid from 0 to 1.5. For portion CB, the X is only valid from 1.5 to 3.0. Okay. Alright, now let's draw uh, the V, the internal shear force for portion AC. Okay, so that will be the point A. That will be the point A. Okay, here will be the point C, and here will be the point C, and here will be the point B, and here will be the point B. Alright, so Vx, okay, the V, the internal force is always 2.5, okay, it's always 1 to 5 uh, for the X between 0 and 1.5, so here is 2.5, so Vx is always 2.5 okay for portion AC okay how about for portion CB okay for portion CB where the S in between 1.5 and 3 the Vx is always minus 2.5 so we draw minus 2.5 for, for portion CB so it's always minus 2.5 okay so that will be the shear force diagram so means that at this point, the value is 2.5 for the internal uh, shear stress and shear force. Eh? At this point also 2.5. At this point also 2.5. Okay, so that's it mean by this diagram. How about for uh, shear for uh, sorry bending moment? Okay, so for bending moment portion AC. Okay, for portion A to C. The bending moment is equal to 2.5x. Okay, and then x is valid from 0 to 1.5. So if if x equal to 0, so x equal to 0, what is the bending moment? Bending moment equal to 0. So what happens if x equal to 1.5? x equal to 1.5. So x equal to 1.5. So, bending moment equal to 2.5 times 1.5, which is uh, 3, 3, 3, 2.5, 5 times 5, okay, 3.75. So, M equal to 3.75. Okay, so X0, M0, which is here. X1.5, which is at point C, okay, X1.5. M3 equal M equal to 3.75. So let's say here is 3.75. So at X 1.5, this is 1.5. This is 1.5. This is 1.5. This is 1.5. 
Okay, so M equal to 3.75, which is here. So that will be the 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 value for the minimum. Alright. Okay, and then for portion CB, for portion CB, the MS equal to uh, so MS equal to minus 2.5. X plus 7.5. So that is for portion CB. So when X equal to 1.5, because for CB, the X is only valid from 1.5 to 3.0. Okay. So when we substitute 1.5 into this equation, so we get M equal to uh, 3.75. Same. Okay. Because uh, 2.5 times 1.5 is 3.75 plus 7.5. So we get... 3.75 okay and then if x equal to 3 which is at point b okay point b so m equal to 2.5 times 3 2.5 times 3 is equal to 7.5 plus minus 7.5 plus 7.5 so m equal to 0 okay so uh, x 1.5 here so m equal to 3.5 so same point Okay, so x equal to 3, which is here, m equal to 0, so you get 0, so we can draw. So that will be the bending moment. Sorry, this is not V, this is M. Okay, so that is the shear force diagram. This is the bending moment diagram. So from here, we can see that the maximum value of the bending moment is 3.75. Okay, 3.75, where the maximum or the critical point, okay, the critical point in the beam is at point C. Okay, is at point C. So, here will be the critical point. Okay. So, we know the value is 3.75. So, if the question asks you to calculate the stress at point C, so you can simply calculate the stress equal to uh, MC over I, and then substitute the value of M which is 3.75 and then calculate the C. C uh, should be calculated from uh, the cross section. Yeah? Okay? If the question gives you the cross section then you can determine the C and then over I. I also is based on the cross section and then you can get the value of stress. The, the value of stress. Okay, so this is what we done. Okay, okay you can read again. Okay, so this is a, uh, basically this is what we I I explained uh, previous in previous slide. Okay, so that's the uh, the graph V over S and also M over S. All right. So we finish example one. So I think uh, for this class uh, we stop at example one, and then we will proceed example two. Uh, in the next uh, class okay so before uh, before I, I I stop okay so I would like to open for any uh, question